Hey everyone, this is part 2 to my original smite skip guide, covering how to skip with various special attack weapons. I recommend watching my original guide before this one, I'll link it in the description. A quick recap, you get 2 attacks in during the skip, and a skip requires making the boss reach 0 HP on the exact tick it changed color or prayer phase. So if a hit splat appears the same tick the boss changed color, you did it correctly. Secondly, there must be no overkill, so thralls must be resummoned when you do the second attack and multi-hit attacks like Claws won't work for the second attack. Just doing two Tebow hits from 1 to 2 tiles away, this matches the timing perfectly. If it's on melee phase, you can do a Shadow into a Tebow hit instead to increase your odds, though you can't do double Shadow as the Shadow's projectile on the second hit would be too slow. Now, special attacks can greatly increase our odds of success, especially for those lacking Tebow and Shadow. However, different weapons have different attack speeds as well as different projectile delays, which is the delay from when you attack until it actually hits the monster. So you need to purposely lose a tick or two for some weapons to make them work. There's four special attack combinations I'd recommend based on what gear you have. The first one is Tebow into Void Waker, or Shadow into Void Waker, based on if it's melee or range phase to match Muspa's style weakness. This one is the one I'd recommend the most, as it allows you to do a Ruby Zarek crossbow spec at the start as long as you bring Lightbearer. Just be warned, if you happen to go incredibly fast, like sub 1 pace, you might not have spec at the end. However, this is incredibly rare. But Void Waker's guaranteed damage makes it particularly good for the second hit, as if a boss dies from a first hit, it will revive on 9 HP, making the second hit a guaranteed smite skip with Void Waker in that situation. For this, and any situation where the second hit is a melee hit, you want to click on the boss after the floor special reaches the edge of a room. It feels like a long time to wait, I would often click too early because of this, but just be very patient to avoid clicking too early. Don't forget to click on Resummon for All before clicking the boss. If you happen to be Tebowing, you could also just do an accurate Tebow shot, and that'll put you on the perfect timing for your Void Waker special. The second one is the Double Void Waker. This one has the highest odds of success for the Smite Skip. However, you can't do a Zerg Crossbow special attack at the start of a kill, so I'd only recommend this one if you don't have a Zerg Crossbow. For this one, it's the same idea as before, just gotta time to click for the second Void Waker after the floor reaches the edge of a room, and don't forget to resummon the Thrall before clicking the boss. Also, after the first Void Waker special, remember to click on the ground somewhere to stop your character from attacking. Since we're not switching weapons in this method, your character is still targeting the boss after the first special, and we need to be able to delay our second attack. The third one is Claws into Tebow slash Shadow. This one is for if you don't have a Void Waker. Since Claws is a multi-hit weapon, it must be used for a first hit, and can't be used for a second hit. If it's melee phase and you go for Claws into Shadow, just don't lose any ticks and Shadow from melee distance. Note that all other Tridents have one tick less projectile delay than a Shadow, so if you have a Sangra Trident, you need to lose a tick or Sang from two tiles away. If it's range phase and you go for Claws into Tebow, you need to lose one tick on a Tebow. You can reduce this by weighing an extra tick before Tebowing, or running two tiles back. I recommend running two tiles back, as you save one tick by not having to purposely lose one tick, and take advantage of a projectile delay instead to lose the tick. Both this requires faster switches. Once again, don't forget to resummon the Brawl. The fourth one is Claws into AGS, or any single hit special attack weapon like any other God Sword. This one is for people who don't have Tebow or Shadow. This one is pretty straightforward, just time a second melee attack like we described before, clicking after a floor special reaches the edge of a room, and don't click too early, be very patient and don't forget to resummon the Thrall. If you don't have Claws or Void Waker or Tebow or Shadow, you could go for a Bofa or Sang into an AGS spec, but the odds of a skip will be pretty rough at this point. One last tip, I mentioned this in the original guide, but remember, if you Shadow or Sang from 5 plus tiles away, and that hit makes the boss go below the 127 HP threshold, and also makes the boss reach the damage threshold to switch between melee phase and range phase, you can get a second hit on the boss before it changes phases and that second hit won't make the boss teleport to the middle and won't get nulled, allowing you to get the boss very low HP for the skip. If the run is fast and the boss is close to both the 127 HP threshold and the switch between melee and range phase threshold, it can be worth going for this even on range phase, as the Shadow does have 50% accuracy with Ancestral against range phase. Just be aware of this. That's all the tips I have, good luck on smite skipping for those GM times.